we've um, we followed through with what Shirley is has unbought and unbossed. For the last couple of years, Regina has been taking much needed time away. In January of 2022, her dear son Ian tragically passing away. You dedicated the film to your beloved yeah, Ian, your to son. My Ian. What has this time span, these last two years, been like for you, Regina? Oh, wow. Um, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a different person, you know, uh, now than I was um, January 19th. Um, I am, grief is, is, is a journey, you know. I, I understand that um, grief is love that has no place to go. I know that it's important to me to honor Ian in the totality of, of who he is. I speak about him in the present because he is always with me and the joy and happiness that he gave all of us. But behind that joy and happiness, Ian's mental health took a toll. When it comes to um, depression, that people expect it to look a certain way and they expect it to look heavy and um, people expect that um, it's okay to have to experience this and not be able to um, have the um, time to just sit with Ian's choice, which I respect and understand, you know, that he didn't want to be here anymore. And that's a, um, a hard thing for other people to uh, receive because they did not live um, our experience, um, did not live Ian's journey. Have you guys seen the interview Regina King did on Good Morning America? You know, she has opened up for the first time ever since her son passed away. And of course, it was really an emotional video. Like I gave you a, a, a clip um, of her voice at the beginning of this video. But of course, man, it's it's really very tough. Very, very tough. So I will have you guys back on here. If you're new, consider subscribing, liking, and also share this video and i'm your host chris so regina king actually she has come out you know to uh dig deep into her grief her struggles ever since you know she lost a son that is ian you know he was a grown-up person at the time i think he was in her i mean in his 20s almost getting close to his 30s and it was really very heartbreaking at a time when he passed on and of course in this interview what i observed that you know um rk regina king she's been going through a lot i think that's the reason why she had not actually come out to uh, really give an interview anywhere about uh, the loss and of course the grief she was going through ever since she lost the son ian uh you know for me what actually also caught my attention at, uh, in that video she was referring to ian the son in present tense and there is a statement she made and said you know that ian is still living with her He's still living with her and plus the family. And of course, she respected the idea and of course, the decision of Ian, you know, to really do what he did at a time. And of course, she was very, very, um, very, very straight and said, you know, it's not so easy. It's really tough. And of course, she has been trying to recover ever since. And obviously, it's not so easy when you live, when you lose someone you're very close to, someone you really love. Uh, for people like us who have lost lovely ones, it's really tough and it takes some time 
to recover. It was already a very touching interview. I encourage you to look it up on Good Morning America that is on their YouTube channel and of course their socials. You'll get all the full details. I only gave you a snippet of that interview, but you know, man, you really deserve to watch this because honestly, Regina King Arake did not deserve what she actually experienced at the time.